Are you a headlight junkie and you realize a new trend in automotive lighting beam patterns? You're not alone. Original equipment and aftermarket companies alike are making a new beam pattern that's a little confusing. Come with me, let's learn some more. If you're into automotive headlights, you may notice something right off the jump with the dipped beam pattern over here. Now traditionally, beam patterns would go from the right to left, on a left-hand drive vehicle anyway, dip down and then continue at that lower level across to the left. The new trend from automotive manufacturers and us here at Morimoto alike is that the dip happens at the hot spot, but then it raises back up and continues on to the left. What that's gonna do for you is give you more visibility, oncoming traffic won't be blinded by your beam pattern, and you get that punch of the hot spot, which is what you need for that long range distance from the beam pattern. We see the chatter, we see the people commenting, wondering if this is a defect, if it's supposed to be like that, and it is by design. Traditionally, you would lose that output because the cutoff line sloped to the left and stayed that low, but because it only dips out where oncoming traffic is and raises back up after that lane of traffic coming towards you, you get that extra visibility off on the side of the road and the shoulder of the road. That's gonna be a huge impact to how you can see at night. So it's ultimately the best of both worlds. Oncoming traffic isn't blinded, but you can still see with your upgraded headlights. So with Morimoto's new Evo line of headlights, you're gonna get a beam pattern just like this on the wall. So head on over to morimotolighting.com to get your set today.